Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabadin's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra continues his insightful teaching on the subject, He That Hath. Yesterday, he explained that we can sow natural and financial seeds. Today, he speaks about seeds of the flesh. Come along. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, he shall eat. They that sow to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. And he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. The third thing that you can sow, which is also a seed, is you sow to the flesh. And yet the Bible says, be not deceived. Do you know where the deception lies? The deception is that you will think that you will sow some, you will reap something you have not sown. It's not true. And in reverse, the deception is that you will sow, but you won't reap. It's not true. When you sow, you will reap. When you don't sow too, you will not reap. So two words saw cuts in two ways. Then it goes to talk about one type of sowing. He does sow it to the flesh. Shall of the flesh reap corruption. Now, corruption means to change the original nature of something. So, for example, you buy bread. After three days, the bread is green. Fungus is growing in the bread. That thing has become corrupt. Now, when everything that you do in life, the motive is just fleshy things or physical things, there is nothing spiritual about it. You are sowing to the flesh. And the Bible says everything that is fleshy or natural or physical, it is subject to to corruption. When I was young, oh, the cars that were there at that time, that's in 120Y. Some of you know, you have not even heard the name before. That's in 120Y. Nizam Bluebird. When you see Nizam Bluebird, man, you don't like it. Look, if they dash you those cars, you get tetanus. You don't like it. Everything that is man made. Everything that is natural, the Bible says it just lasts for a short time. So it says seeds or things that are done only for the natural, just remember it is subject to corruption. That's why 1 Peter 123 says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, which means that there is a seed which doesn't get spoiled but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. In other words, when it comes to spiritual things, they stay with you for life. 24 says, all flesh is as grass, which means it's very weak. You know, grass, as soon as you step on it, it just goes down. And all the glory of man, the glory of man is the beautiful things and the things that we value, like money, the latest car, the latest dress, the latest styles, the latest hairdo. Look, when you look at old pictures, the way people are dressed, look, 
they look like people from a museum. But you see, those they, they believe themselves, they are standing there like this with some big guarantee. When you look and say, ah, what is this? The grass withereth, the flower thereof fadeth away. But the word of our God endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. I am not saying don't do anything in the natural. What I'm saying is that remember that every natural thing just that way, just fades away. That's why you cannot just sow only for this life. Because this life, it will just pass away. All the great kingdoms, uh, Julius Caesar, uh, Emperor Nero, uh, 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 Herod, or the, the, they will pass away. Churchill, name. So you can sow. But remember, it's just temporary. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that we must not focus all our seed sowing efforts on the flesh because natural things are temporary. Join us tomorrow for the continuation of this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Freedom from addiction to masturbation. Dear Kakra, I sent you a message asking for prayer to break free from addiction to masturbation. You replied and said you had prayed for me. By the grace of God, since the day you prayed, I have not engaged in the act. The urge to masturbate is no more. I pray that God will continue to use you to deliver his people from their afflictions. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.